And so she was starting to freak out again because, again, here we go. Here's another batch of dead bodies. So she was starting to freak out, and he was just kind of let her know, you got to keep it together. Like, I understand this is a lot for you. You will see this for a long time in your mind. I know that. But right now, you got to focus, and you got to pull it together, okay? That's what Roth needs. That's what we got to do for ourselves just to stay alive. So then uh, the book goes back to Roth, and... Um, now he's having like the after effects of it in which it's a lot of vomiting and so he's tied up so the only thing he can do is just kind of turn his head as much as he can so that way he doesn't like choke on his own vomit you know so she tells two of the bodyguards to go clean him up and um so two of them go one's name Stefano and the other one is Tobias and they're actually brothers and so as they get up to clean him up he was like you know what even though he's so weak his brain's still working he's like I should like throw up on one of them to try and cause a distraction <laughs> and that's what he did and he threw up on uh Stefano grabbed his gun and shot and he was so weak like when he shot it like the blowback like threw him um but it sh killed uh, stefano like instantly and so the brother who's tobias was like you know you're gonna pay for that and like gina's like she doesn't care and he's like that was my brother and she's like and he's dead now clean him up and do what i said and I was like, yeah, she's vicious. <laughs> That's a cold hearted one right there. <clears throat> so Tobias then drags Ross across the bathroom floor and he tells him, you know, you kill my brother and I'm going to make sure you suffer slowly. And then Gina tells Roth, you made a, the wrong enemy because he's kind of a psychopath. And even she was like, and that's a lot coming from me. So, you know, this guy has got to be pretty demented. And so then, of course, Gina threatens him again because that's what she does. And she's like, um, she let him know your little girlfriend eluded me. But um, when I catch her, I think what I'll do is get another bed in here. And then I'll have my men like run a train on her and you have to watch. And then I'll probably call some of my girlfriends and have them come in here and have them screw you too. And then she'll have to watch you. And then I just got to decide on if I'm going to make you watch her die or vice versa. I haven't decided yet. So I'm like, this woman is straight cold. Like this is like, there's just no soul left at this point. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So then Gina gives him a choice. But it's not really a choice. But she says you can either take this pill willingly again. Or we can do it the forceful way. So of course he doesn't want to take it willingly. So she goes and she gets a pitcher of water. And um, kind of waterboards him. To make him open his mouth. And then takes the, so the pill. She drops that pill in again. The water it goes down. And um, then after that. Just different times. She would just keep filling up the pitcher of water and just waterboarding him again just for the fun of it because again she's a sadist like she gets off on watching people in pain and suffer so um the next thing roth knows is he hears a big knock on the door and then he says all hell breaks loose <laughs> so harris and uh kiri came in and they had like killed like all these like mostly Harris okay but they had like taken out like all these people and um so they get Roth out of there um Tobias is still alive and of course our wonderful Gina is still alive um but they do get away and um when they get on when they're in first in the vehicle like kind of driving towards the boat and um you know he's just taking that drug and so now it's starting to take effect and he is like raging and Kiri's like you know 
at first he didn't believe it was Kiri. He thought like this was a delusion because all those different times that like she would um Gina would rape him, like he would think it was Kiri, you know what I mean, even though he knew it wasn't, but his mind I mean he was just screwed up. He was he was really screwed up. And so she has to convince him like it's her. She's like, It's me. Remember you sent me the checks for twelve months, like and, and then he started to kind of believe it was her. And so he was like you know this the need that that drug creates it's something it's beyond viagra it's just it's a it's a crazy sick thing that it does to a person and so he was like you know i you you got to get away from me like i can smell your pussy i can i can i can taste it like you got to get away from me he's like because i don't want to hurt you and so they finally get onto the um onto the boat and he's still having that craving and so she's like well just let me okay i'll take care of you and he's like no you don't know what you're what you're saying you don't realize what's gonna happen she's like no i do she's like i can't sit here and watch you in like pain like this so they have sex but it is the roughest sex they have ever had and it's not in a hot great way um and she describes that you know like they've had sex everywhere and it's been hot and rough and great but this is this was something that she knew that she was going to be sore she knew she was going to walk back funny the next day because it was just it wasn't pleasant for her but he needed some type of a release but then of course the thing with it is soon after that was done he got hard again and there was no way she could have sex with him so she just um gave him a hand job and i'm sitting there going I would have just given him a hand job the first time. <laughs> like, you, I don't know. I just, that just kind of threw me. I was like, I was just, you could have just given him a hand job from the get go, you know, and we'll just keep doing this until you get off, until this starts to like get out of your system. But like, you just been screwing this woman. Not that it was his fault, okay, because the woman took it. But, I'm like the woman ain't using no condom no nothing so now you just jump oh no it just that was just too much for me (laughs) so she jacks him off he comes again and then he tells her i'm gonna be violently ill when this is over and um sure enough that's exactly what happened he was like violently ill and so um he finally is laying back down and she goes up to talk to harris he's in the galley and um she's like where are we headed and he's like well we're going to crete to refuel and she's like well crete is in the opposite direction of how we came and uh harris is like i know but we can't come the same way we came because that's what they're expecting (laughs) so we got to go like the longer route and so uh she says okay and then where are we going after that and he says well we're going to alexandria which is in africa and she's like well why are we going there and he says well roth doesn't have any contacts there so it'll be kind of the last place that they'll look for us so um roth finally gets like some water some crackers in his system and he falls into like a like a deep dead sleep and um when they get to alexandria at that time they're having like a call to prayer and um he kind of starts describing some things to kiri and let her know like that's going to happen like five times a day and um he at that point was letting her know listen she's not gonna stop coming after us like it might be better if i maybe send you somewhere so that you're safe so like even if i don't like maybe i won't even be able to know where you are just to make sure you're safe but i'll have give you enough to where you'll be fine you know money won't be an issue i'll have you know security like you'll be safe and she's just kind of like nah like no this is it is you and me like that's it and i and i and even though as crazy as everything has happened and has been like i get it she has met her person And it's like for her and for most people, once you meet your person, like a life without them, it's just kind of like that's not the life they want. So even if this life comes with chaos and everything else, I'll take it 
because you're my person and so she was just like no like no it's just gonna be you and me because <laughs> I'm not going back I'm not going anywhere it is going to be you and me and he was like you've already been shot at she's like yeah I've already been shot at had someone tried to kill me I've seen so many dead bodies okay like I've already gone through it like it's not going to change my mind this is I'm staying with you then he tells her you know you can go back to Detroit um everything I have will go to you and she's like what and he's like you can leave me right now he's like I made a promise to you and I meant it he's like I will always take care of you like you will never have another worry again um he's like I have everything set up with the lawyer everything set to where if anything happens to me the business gets streamlined and then it starts to get sold off and all of those proceeds go to you and um, I think he told it was like 1.76 billion dollars that she would get and um, he's like it's more than enough for you to live you know a, a wonderful life 100 times over and so she was still like nope <laughs> that is not gonna happen <laughs> it is gonna be you and me buddy <laughs> and so then Roth kind of goes back and tells her the story of like when him and Gina were together which was about 10 years prior and that um, when she had found him with some other girl she tortured and killed the girl and made him watch so she's like like hardcore you know what I mean and so then after that he got away from her and then she sent men after him to kill to make him suffer first and then kill him um, but he overpowered the guy and um, right before he shot the dude he already been actually let me say it correctly he had already gotten shot I think in the leg and he had been stabbed in the back but he was still alive but he still was able to overpower the hitman that she sent after him and she asked him like who sent you and he was like Gina and then he just put a bullet in the dude's head and so uh Kyrie asked him you know what did you what did she do to you and he didn't want to tell her um and she was like I love you no matter what you can tell me anything because she had a pretty good idea like they found him butt naked she pretty much knew but I think she still just wanted to hear you know what exactly had happened to him and so he goes into detail and, and he tells her what happened and he's so broken he blames himself and he's almost kind of inconsolable and so Kyrie uh Kiri she goes to Harris and um he asks you know well, how's Ross doing and she's like she's he's not doing good and so Harris is like well you know we should maybe stay here for a while but you know eventually she's gonna find us and so Kiri's like you know what at this point let's just go back to New York and if the bitch wants us she can come and get us and at first Harris is looking at her like the hell and he wanted to protest but when he looked in like Kiri's eyes it was like she was done it was like he was like all right well then back to new york we go <laughs> so when they get back to new york um they have sex again and it's kind of more of their reconnecting you know kind of back because the sex they had on the boat you know that went it and um ross lets you know ross lets her know you know he's holding on to all this guilt of what happened and um how he felt and you know um if they hadn't rescued him he was gonna break and it was just he just, just a lot of stuff he was going through and so the next morning when she wakes up she goes to take a shower and when she comes out Ross isn't in the bedroom and she automatically knew we we're in trouble and so she's walking around and she goes into the library and Gina's in there and uh, Gina shoots her in the knee and you know Kyrie's like shot and like all in pain and she's like come along and she's just like come where actually no she wasn't in the library yet but she made her she made her get to the library but Kiri had to get herself there and she's like you got two knees one's okay one shot you still got another one you can make it and so on her way there she sees um Eliza has been killed that was super sad to me like oh my gosh like that poor woman even though it's like you know in this even if she may not have known everything about Roth's life I think 
still like i just hated that like i was like oh she was such a good woman and like that's there she was eyes wide open and blood just gushing out and so that of